church, I ask you, parents, you renounce the devil, the spiritual forces of wickedness, the evil powers of this world that rebel against God and of your sin. You renounce the empty promises and deadly deceits of this world and the sinful desires of the flesh that draw you from the love of God. You accept the freedom and power God gives you to resist evil, injustice, and oppression in whatever forms they present themselves. You confess Jesus Christ as your Savior. Put your whole trust in His grace and promise to serve Him as your Lord in union with the church, which Christ has opened to people of all ages, nations, and races. Will you nurture your child in Christ's holy church that by your teaching and example they may be guided to accept God's grace for themselves, to profess their faith openly, and to lead a Christian life? Do you, as Christ's body, the church, reaffirm both your rejection of sin and your commitment to Christ? Do you nurture one another in the Christian faith and life and include these children now before you in your care? God,
after the Holy Spirit to bless this gift of water and those who receive it to wash away their sin and clothe them in righteousness throughout their lives, that dying and being raised with Christ, they may share in His final victory. Sharon Hampton E. before, and Olivia May Hudson. For you, Jesus Christ came into the world. For you, He lived and showed God's love. For you, he suffered death on the cross. For you, he triumphed over death, rising to new life. For you, he prays at God's right hand. All of this is for you before you can know anything of it. In your baptism, the words of Scripture fulfilled. We love because he first loved us. Spirit work within you that being born through water in the Spirit, you may be a faithful disciple of Jesus Christ. 